Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. This is a new series that I'm hoping to start where I'm going to show something that you can do with Excel, Microsoft Excel, which is still one of the most popular data analytics tool on the planet. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on R, or specifically R Studio. So this is to help people who use Excel, but to advance them to R or to evolve them into R world. So this is my attempt. I don't know how it is going to go. So for this particular video, we are going to use one of the Tidy Tuesday data set that is a food consumption and CO2 emission data set. This data set has the four columns, country, food category, consumption, CO2 emission. And uh, this data set was uh, contributed by Kasia Kulma. So let us go ahead and uh, start looking at it. So I've got this data set in my Excel sheet. And um, so the first thing that whenever we get a data in Excel, the first thing that we try to do is we try to you know, let's assume in this case that I want to do a pivot and then try to see for a given country, what is my total CO2 emission. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to say uh, pivot, which is usually, okay, I have to increase my Excel size because I'm forgetting my Excel. So I'm going to go to insert pivot table and then select everything and then see, okay, I've got this thing. I'm going to select my country and my uh, rows and then I'm going to select my CO2 emission which is sum, okay, that is good. Um, so at this point, uh, we have got um, row labels as the country and then we have got CO2 emission. So let's do one thing, which is to sort um, the CO2 emission. Okay, sort is not available for us in this given case. That is fine. Uh, so ideally what we want to do is we want to see the total CO2 emission for every country and this is what we did in Excel. So do a pivot and then get the country in the rows and values in the uh, value values in the values and uh, the CO2 emission and then we have done. So let's go ahead and then see uh, how to do the same thing in um, R. So before that, what we can do is I want to just copy paste this to a different sheet and right click paste as values and then I want to say okay. Um, I want to sort it, sort it by CO2 emission, largest to smallest. Okay, so I've got Argentina at the top and I've got Australia. So I'm going to highlight the top 20 countries. I'm going to put a border on it. Table style or I'm going to say, let's say conditional formatting. I'll just put a border. Okay. So this is our first task. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first call the library tidyverse, which is what we use for uh, a lot of data analysis. So in this case, I'm hoping that you would start with tidyverse, which is slightly easier. And uh, I have this file in my downloads, so I have to first read the file in. So these are few things that um, a beginner might find a um, bit, uh, you know, a, a small overhead to start with. But again, if you want files, you can directly go here and then you can extract, uh, read it. But uh, I'm going to show it programmatically so it is easier for you. I'm going to call it CO2, read underscore CSV. I um, C um, users downloads and uh, the file name is four underscore consumption dot CSV. Okay, so. It's a Windows problem. I have to use this slash. Otherwise, I have to use two slashes. Okay. It is not available. See user. So I have forgotten my username. Okay. The file has been successfully read. You can see the file here. And uh, you can see four columns are there. Country, food, category, consumption, CO2 emission. And what we are going to do now is the same thing that we did here. I'm going to say CO2 pipe. So this is something called pipe where the output of the left hand side is given as the input to the first argument of the function that you're going to use. So we'll keep it at this level. Uh, to keep it in simple English, it's just like a connector pipe. So it takes something and then it gives back. So pipe and uh, you can see um, what we want to do is we first want to group by which is our row label, which is in this case country. And then we have to summarize it. And uh, we have to summarize it saying sum of CO2 is equal to, let's take the column name, 
column name is CO2 emission sum of CO2 emission so at this point you can see that uh, you have got the columns or uh, let me do view so that we can actually view it so view is the function for you to see something as a separate data frame so at this point you have got a country one line one row and then you have got their total co2 um, but uh, it is still not sorted so let's go ahead and then say um, arrange we want it in descending order and the column name for which we want to arrange is sum of co2 and now when you run it let's do view it's argentina australia so you get the same output you can see the same output and you can even in fact see that uh, it's it's all same formatted all these things so what we wanted to do is we wanted to extract top 20 so now you can simply say head of 20 after you sorted it and now you're going to have 20 rows so now as so a next step let's remove all these things from this we don't need um okay i definitely have to improve my excel skills um let us sure okay so for this 20 we'll call it country okay now let's say we want to make a plot let's see what plot microsoft is recommending to us it says clustered bar um map uh, will not get the map okay so let's just make this as normal bar plot so we have um sorry we have co2 emission and uh, we'll call it total co2 emission by country so let's make this plot and uh, let's see how it looks so once we have this then we can say okay at this point i want to say uh, gz plot which is what we are going to use to make plot gm call we want to make a column plot um, and uh, aes which is our aesthetics our x-axis is country and our y-axis is sum of co2 okay um, let's make a plot and see how it looks okay the plot looks like this um not one of the greatest plot that you would see um it's still the biggest problem is that it is not sorted so to sort that plot there are multiple ways the simplest way we would do is we would first sort the factor so country is equal to fct reorder of country by sum of CO2 okay I'll just reduce this size sum of CO2 and then we have this plot it's in descending order we'll make ascending order sorry it was in ascending order and we'll make descending order so now at this point you have this columns but now you can see that these names are overlapped uh, which you do not want and you want to make a bit of change in the theme and you want to give a title and the color to be blue so let's make a very similar to that uh, to say what we want to do is we want to fill the color with blue okay and then we want to say there is a package ggec which we recently saw we want to say uh, easy rotate x labels that is done and uh, then want to say theme minimal okay so what's the problem the problem is i've used pipe instead of plus inside ggplot you have to use plus outside ggplot you have to use pipe so let's zoom it let's try to see what is it it's the same let's run it once more i'm not getting any plot okay um, the problem is this pipe operator again uh, you need to use plus so at this point you have got nice blue oh uh, this rotating thing didn't work probably because we have uh, this x levels so you have got a nice oops you have got a nice blue plot with um, x axis uh, rotated so maybe you can now um let's say i want to add title labs of title is equal to 
total co2 emission by country and uh, you want to say the data source of it caption is equal to source tidy tuesday um, if you want to um, call out the owner name so you can call out the owner name um at, so at this point you have a plot like this you have a plot like this so now where uh, if you actually see r is really really helpful uh, for you than using python uh, sorry than using um, excel python is also equally important and using excel is that let's say now someone tells you that instead of co2 emission at the start of the raw data you saw Uh, you have got a CO2 em emission and consumption, right? So let's say now someone says you want a consumption by country, uh, then you want CO2 emission, or again another plot. So now what you have to do is you have to repeat the entire process. You have to go make a pivot, select the top five, and um, you know you have to just repeat this entire process all together. So I think that is where having a programming language is quite handy. because what you have to do is in that case um in uh, if it is an excel so you have to make a pivot first um you have to sort it you have to extract it and then you have to repeat the entire process so it's like like 5 minutes of what we did uh, probably like it would take few minutes for you but what we can do in this case is because we have got a programming language simply copy and paste it and where you have used co2 emission you can simply say consumption and um, sum of consumption just because name is more representative uh, and you can use sum of consumption everywhere i can just you do find and replace sum of consumption total consumption by country and if i just just few copy paste uh, i can simply use find and paste and then you can see at this point that we have got the solution already in hand um so this is the biggest advantage of using a programming language than a gui uh, like uh, excel because um, you can just replicate it the 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 power of reproducibility and scale is uh, you could have seen that uh, it would have taken multiple clicks multiple steps for us to um, do something that uh, we repeated excel for a different column but in r it is just one line again uh, you can do almost everything that you can do it with excel but uh, i think for this initial uh, video of this series uh, i don't have a name but uh, simply what you can do it in excel you can easily do it in r or python in this case i'm demonstrating it with r which is very very easy for anyone who doesn't understand any programming language so the idea is if you wanted to make a pivot uh, with um, uh, one categorical variable and continuous variable and we wanted to sort it and then we wanted to make it a plot so we have done it with uh, let's say like five six lines of r code which is plain english you group it by uh, which is like a pivot and then you summarize it uh, use the summarizing value sum and then you are arranging it in descending order then you are taking the head of top 20 and um, probably this is something that uh, you need to understand uh, to order the values and then you are making a plot column plot and uh, your x axis your y axis you have rotated the axis and you have title and everything so and you got a nice little plot like this with uh, the source the title and x axis and y axis all these details you want to make a change you can make a change uh, you can do anything that you want uh, with this plot so i think that is where a uh, programming language is really handy i hope this video is quite helpful for you to if you are an excel user to get on started with r uh, i hope uh, i'll make more videos like this um, take care see you bye bye